narcissist is constantly watching you some of you may not be aware of this but yes if you are their grade a primary source of supply they will always be watching you and they may be stalking you on social media they're watching what you're posting and they may even have your password and they're logging into your account they're reading your messages they may even be deleting some of them without your knowledge and they may even be following you around in person they may be following you to your house or your work and you may not even be aware of it which is why I wanted to bring this message to you today because yes as Shelley I said down in the live chat it is very creepy it's like they're always over your shoulder they're always there and you just can't get away from them and if you are with this type of possessive and controlling narcissist you will probably already know by now because it can feel very suffocating it's like from the very first time that you met them they always had to be there they always had to be watching you and they do that narcissistic stare as well when they look into your eyes but they're not thinking about how they can make things better or how they can make you happy they're trying to learn you they're studying you and it's very predatory because they're studying you for your weaknesses and vulnerabilities for things they can use against you and sometimes they may study you for things that you like or are interested in but again that's just so they can use it against you it's something that will they will weaponize at a late date so yeah these types of narcissists they are very possessive and controlling they are very obsessive it's like they always have to know where you are what you're doing and who you're with you can never have any alone time they've always got to be there and even if you do get to go out sometimes and you roam they're always messaging you they're always calling you it's like you can just never be alone because the reality is they just don't want you to be free they don't want you to have any time of your own where you can just even think for yourself because of course they already know if you have some time to yourself to think that's not going to be favorable for them because they already know they're not any good you're only going to be thinking badly of them you're not going to be thinking oh they care so much about me I'm so glad they're around all the time you're not going to be thinking like that no instead you're going to be thinking this person is crazy they're so possessive they just can't leave me alone it's very suffocating and I'm so happy that I finally got some time to myself that's what you're going to be thinking and they know that which is why they don't ever want you to have any alone time for you to self reflect because it's not favorable for them and these types of narcissists they're probably going through your internet history they're probably already aware that you are watching my videos and they may even see me as a threat to them to your relationship or whatever it is they may feel a lot of jealousy towards any people that you're around as though they may be taking you away from them because anyone is automatically going to be seen as a potential threat to whatever you have with them because in the back of their minds they already know that what you have is not anything good and that is why they already know that 
if you spend time with your friends or whoever it is, if you're talking about the relationship that you have, you're not going to be talking about anything positive. Of course, they're already aware of that. So that's why they're so controlling. Because they fear being exposed and they fear being rejected. So they're just trying to control your entire reality and your perception of them. And not only that, but they keep a code of silence to control other people's perception of them and your relationship as well. Because they don't really want to do the work and deal with the issues that you're having. They don't care about that. They're just, they're just trying to secure you and lock you in for their own needs. And typically that's just supply. It's a source of security and stability. It may even be that they are just lonely. When a relationship, of course, it shouldn't be like that. It should be you're cooperating together, you're working together. It should be a collaboration towards a mutual goal or objective, towards a common purpose. But of course, as we know with narcissists, it is never like that. It's always all about them and what they want. And you just have to follow their lead. You have to listen to them. Even though at the end of the day, it's not even serving you. It's not doing you any good. And when you start to figure that out, that's when they create this false narrative about you. They start talking about you to people behind your back and trying to get everyone to see you the same way as though you're a problem. They start a smear campaign. And really what that is doing is they're just trying to isolate you so that they become your only source of influence. And even if you go around to other people, they're feeding that same narrative back to you. So you can't get away from it. And what they're really trying to do is they're trying to brainwash you. They're trying to get you to adopt radically different beliefs about yourself and the people in the world and the world around you. And deep down, they know that it is all a lie. Everything that they're saying about you, everything that they're doing, the way that they're treating you, they know that it's all wrong. Of course, they know that. That's why they are so controlling. Because here's the, here's the thing. If you know that you are good for someone or that you mean them well, you don't have to hold on to them like that where you're always watching them. Because they're doing that out of fear. Instead, you would let them be free to have their own thoughts and opinions about things and to do what they want to do. I mean, of course, there has to be some limits. I mean, if I'm in a relationship, I wouldn't really want the girl that I'm with to have any male friends. I wouldn't want her to be drinking alcohol and going to clubs. I mean, we all have our own set of standards to what we expect in a relationship and yours may be the same as mine or they may be different and that's okay you know what we're talking about is very extreme monitoring and observation of your life and there is no justification for that that is abuse and if you're dealing with that, you should not tolerate it. You should get out as soon as you can because it will get worse. And you should change your phone number. You should delete or change your social media accounts. In some cases, you may even need to change your devices because they may be tracking them. They may even have a tracking device on your car. I've heard all sorts of things. I've heard clients that their abuser is monitoring them through their phone and computer cameras and microphones. They've even installed cameras in their home. They're even watching them on the toilet, believe it or not. And 
this is a real thing. It's actually becoming more and more common these days with technology because these devices are becoming cheaper now so anyone can afford them. And yes, this is a reality. I've even seen reports about it on the news, on television. So of course you do need to be aware of these things because it is a very severe form of psychological abuse and it will harm you. And not only will it harm you, but it will influence everyone that you come around. So you do need to protect yourself and other people by first becoming aware of it and then doing what you can to change it. And I know it's not easy, but it all starts with the awareness of this type of narcissist that you're dealing with. That is the first step for you to free yourself from the chains, from the grips of this toxic, narcissistic, abusive person. And that's what I want you all to do, because that is no way to live. You need to have some freedom. You need to have your free time. You, you can never really live your life and be your genuine, authentic self when someone is constantly creeping over your shoulder. It makes it impossible to, for you to form your own identity because there are a constant influence in your life to where you don't even have any influence over yourself you can't even have any time to think for yourself and of course narcissists it doesn't matter how much power and control they have over you and your life and your choices action, actions and decisions they're not going to take any accountability for that so if you take the wrong path, if you get led astray, if you go down the wrong roads, in their minds, that's on you. They're not going to take any responsibility for that. It doesn't matter how much power how much power and control they had over you. In their minds, that's irrelevant. They will still see it as though you had free will and you made your own choice. Which should give you even more reason and incentive for you to get away because they want to be the captain of the ship but at the same time if it goes down they're not going to go down with it they're going to leave you on that ship to sink on your own and then they're going to get off and tell everyone that it was your fault that's just what narcissists do they're like children who want to be the parent but they don't want any responsibility which makes them extremely dangerous to be around because someone who wants to have the power and authority without any responsibility that is a recipe for disaster they were never meant to have any power and you can see that by how they how they misuse it the power is in the wrong hands and you're giving your power to them better off keeping that power to yourself because I know you will use it wisely so yeah that's my advice and just to give you the awareness if the narcissist is constantly watching you which I'm sure they are if you are their grade A source of supply as you can see I'm just out here by this I think it's uh, a river, coconut trees, just having a walk down here, as you know I love being out in nature, I love just getting away from the city and being in the middle of nowhere, there's nothing more uplifting for me than that. Gives me some time to recharge. 
and to just be alone with myself and to enjoy my alone time. So yeah, that's it for today. I hope it was helpful and if it was, give it a thumbs up down below. It helps to support our channel. And let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Let me know if the narcissist is watching you, what they're doing. Did they put a tracking device on your car? Or did you find any hidden cameras in your home? Let me know, I'd love to hear from you. I'm always here for you, I read the comments every day. And share the video as well. Let's get this message out there, spread awareness. And if you'd like to talk to me on this topic or anything else, you can book a session with me on my website, which is narcsurvivor.co.uk. And don't forget, I do have an Instagram as well. Narc Survivor YouTube on Instagram. I've got new pictures and videos of my travels on there, which I post every day. And you can also send me a message on there as well, and I will reply. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, that's it for today. But I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to speaking with you again soon.